Police say they were able to track down 23 year old Anthony Crawford thanks to surveillance video. Wendy Martinez was stabbed to death Tuesday in what detectives are calling a random act of violence. Her mother says the 35 year old will be buried in her wedding dress that she just picked out over the weekend after being engaged last week. What if I told you a product could be legally labeled as fat free when in fact it's 100% fat? Do you know that in America, no company by law has to put the actual real percentage of fat on a label? They don't have to do it, so they don't do it. So that's where it gets real confusing. So the dairy companies and the meat companies are really the worst. And because consumers aren't educated, they keep believing it. If it says lean, if it says you know low fat, healthy, which they see all over the labels, um, that is the issue. And people are getting sucked into it. That it's almost impossible for Americans to eat healthy today. In 40 years, I've watched every diet come and go. I've watched the Scarsdale diet come and go, the Pritikin, the Zone. Atkins has come and gone several times. Now it's paleo, then it's keto. Fitness fad fraud. A lot of things that would promise you everything and maybe deliver very little. Actual visual picture of the things that you were putting in your, in your body uh, versus the deceptive food labeling that they're able to get away with, you wouldn't eat it. Now, more than six months after the grisly murder. So now why'd you do it? Why'd you kill her? Police say they found the needle in the haystack, tracking down the man they believe is responsible. 20-year-old Chanel Lewis lived three and a half miles away from the crime scene with his mother. Follow-up investigation developed forensic evidence linking him to the crime. Lewis was interviewed by detectives and made detailed incriminating statements and admissions. Charges are now pending. This is a very good day for justice in New York City. Back here at home, the mystery murder of a jogger killed in New York City. Back in August, the New York City murder grabbed national headlines. The story of the beautiful young woman with a large social media following, never to be seen alive again. Right now, there's evidence of, of strangulation, asphyxiation. The cops are setting him up. The cops need to go do their job and find the real killer and take my brother out of jail. He's a black man because he's a white person. They're framing my brother. The legal 